Yo, what's going on? It's your girl Tootsie, you're watching Tootsie Time. Thank you so much for allowing me to do that. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to do that so bad. I've been watching for years and I've always wanted to say it. Yeah. So, today, guys. Tootsie right. Time for you, Tootsie Tootsie Time, time for you. Yeah. And the little thing drops. Tootsie Time for you, Tootsie Tootsie Time for you. So, today, as you can see, for Girl Talk, I have two guys with me. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. It's Trey from Four Yon Entertainment. Um, Jay. My name is. You don't, you don't say it. I can't say that. You word. can say what you want. Uh, Jay Bitches. <laughs> I'm here with Trey and Jay, and they are going to be doing a girl talk with me today. Yes. Um, this should be interesting. I've asked you guys to send in questions on Snapchat, and we're just going to go through these questions and try and help you out, as always. Now, you guys know, usually, Martika and I, we have a drink and a little snack, but I think we drank too much last night, so we ain't trying to drink now. We've got milk. This is London milk? Yeah, and I've got water. It's sweeter. Kay has asked, why do guys give a girl the girlfriend treatment, but when she asks for the title, it's a problem? Let me tell you right now. Oh, this is perfect. Guys, what's Dude. up? This is Trey going at you live. Um, I feel, me personally, I give a lot of girls the girlfriend treatment because it's kind of like, this is what you can get. This is what, like, how I would treat you. I'm kind of giving like a teaser of what you can get. It's like a seven but, day trial, like a seven day Netflix trial. Exactly. Think of it as a Netflix trial, but a lot of the times, me personally, my personal experiences, personally, personally, um, when I do that with girls, they they rush things after. You know what I mean? So it's like they they see what it, what it is and how I treat them, and then they say, "Hey, hey, I want to be your girlfriend." I'm like, "No, wait, I'm not really ready for them." So kind of like easing into it, trying to take my time, and then they get mad, and then. You guys take all guys are assholes. But what so. are you waiting for? I'm not ready yet. It doesn't feel right. Ready? For, I don't understand. But if you're doing all of that mm -hmm. and it's fine, you're not ever gonna want to make that commitment because no, you're would. doing everything else that you would. Guys are hoes. Guys are hoes. That's why. No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> what other reasons do you have? You don't want to get locked down. That's the only thing. That's the only no. Thing that's because change. like it's just it's just I had I had this discussion the other day and I feel that a lot of girls they feel with that. With that title, they can say, hey, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. And a lot of girls start to change when they get that power. And then I say, hey, I don't like this anymore. I'm not feeling it anymore. And then they say, oh, why? Because you want to be with other girls? No, it's because you try to tell me to do certain things. And I'm like, yo, like you weren't telling me not to go to the club when we were just talking. But now that I'm your boyfriend, you, you think well, you have obviously. the power to tell me not to go out and not to do this and not to hang with my friends? You know what, that's true. Yeah. I'm going to have to agree with my brother here. Um, uh, with the title comes a lot of um, expectations, and maybe it's, it's not time for that. Yeah. So maybe I want to live young and wild and free, and I want to be out with my friends. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want to see you today. Wait for my girlfriend. So do you think when you actually want to be with someone as the boyfriend girlfriend title, do you feel like you feel inside yourself that you don't want to go out anymore with your friends? Do you have to naturally feel that, or is it cool then for her to still say I don't want you going somewhere? Even if you want to go, it's still cool because she's your girlfriend. That's a good, that's a good uh, uh, fight back point. We want to call it. They call it fight back <laughs> point. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. But um, I, I definitely think that your girlfriend will naturally have that effect on you to say, hey, I don't want to go out. I just want to chill with my lady tonight. But then there are going to be times where it's like, yo, like, I want to go yeah, with the boys. Chill, you know what I mean? Chill, we chill already, man. Maybe we're friends, yeah. man. Take I feel like you, you shouldn't, especially like really early into a relationship, you shouldn't really try and control your partner because like you want to make them feel free. You want to make them feel like they're in a relationship without feeling tied down because a relationship is not to make you feel tied down. It's to make you feel like happy and say, oh, that girl's there for me, da da da, da. Um, That girl or guy, sorry, is there for me. Um, and ultimately, like, you don't want to feel locked down. So me personally, I wouldn't want like want to hear, hey, don't do this, don't do that. You can tell me how you feel about the clubs. But I'm still gonna go, bro. But I'm still gonna go, I'm still like. Still gonna rock out with the homies. Yeah. You go to your friend's house, sorry, and your mom's saying, yo, can I roll with you? You're gonna be like, mom, I'm just chill with my friends. Why do you wanna come? You know what I mean? It's a different vibe when your mom's there. Yeah. yeah. Not that we're doing anything bad, it's just a different vibe when, might be. when your lady's bad. Jermaine, come on, man. Like, yo, <laughs> it's a different vibe when your girlfriend's there. This is from Princess Rex. She says, what should I do if people judge the way I look and my body? I say don't give a fuck. Yeah, but like, them, man, them, bite them up. Make them get bite down one day. If you like the way you look, then you should be cool with the way you look. If you don't like the way you look, then change that for yourself. Don't change that for somebody for them, else. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. How do you know a guy is really into you? What are the signs? Is that a question for us or for, for you? you guys, because I've answered this before of what I think. Can I hear your answer? It. Okay. I think a guy is into you when he calls you every day. What? Woo! Every day. No, 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 no. Even if it's even if this is like five minutes just to be like, yo, what's good? How was your day? Kind of thing. You already told me via text. Anyways, continue. No. 
Also, I think if he texted you back straight away, he's definitely into you. I also that's a sign, think that's a sign. That's a sign. I also think if he asks to go somewhere with you and not just come to your house, then he's into you. I think if he just wants to come to your house and he wants you to come over to his house, I don't think he's that into you. I think he just wants to you know. do what he wants to do, do what he wants to do, but he's not really into you. That's just what I feel. If he laughs at your jokes, I feel like he's into you. I even call my mom, so. Uh, what? I really, I like calling people. I don't know. I rather, I rather just. Yeah, you lost them. me at call. I started thinking about goats and how high they can jump. No, I barely text. I barely uh, call them. Like, I'm so, so how are you supposed to speak guy. to them? You text, text. them. Voice text. notes. No, you need time. to hear voice. You don't have like pillow talk. What's pillow talk? When you're laying on your pillow and you talk. Oh no 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 no. So let me. When I'm on the phone, I feel so like preoccupied. I feel like I can't do anything else. Like when I'm texting, I can do my. But that's what I'm saying. If a guy's into you, then why do you need to do anything else? Come on, busy. I'm gonna have to do stuff. This is this is this is. But uh, I do agree with taking like asking her to go places out in public. I do. Yeah. I do. I'm uh, agree with two. When you text quickly, because when I'm not interested, I don't text. Uh, I barely text back. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. But then, like, with with, te with, with calling on the phone, this is like. Yeah, I feel like my bad. Sorry, one more thing. I feel like it has to be like all of that put together because some guys will, will go out of the way to do what they want to do. You know? mm -hmm. Everything just has to feel genuine. Like, I feel like there's no real, like, oh, this is a sign. Like, there are signs, but it just has to feel genuine. Because I can call someone every day, and I don't really care. I can text them back right away, and I don't really care about them. You know what I mean? Like, it has to feel genuine. I can go over to the house and not care. Like, I just feel like the certain things that he or she, uh, or he does to you, um, or and for you, is just like, that's you say, okay, like, yeah, I think I think dude really cares, and he's really kind of into me or whatever. Because, like, me, personally, I never, like, talk on the phone. But then for girls that I'm into, like, that's... She can't say, oh, he's not into me because he never calls me. I'll never call you. Like, I just don't like being on okay, the phone. Okay, so if they called you and you was into them, would you pick up every time? If no. She every day? No. Even though you're into her? I'm mad busy, yo. Oh, God. Yo, I don't like talking on the phone because my ear gets hot. You ever take your phone off your ear and it's like sweaty? You're sweating? It's like, ew. Like, text me. I'm 22. I'm 22, and I feel like I, when I was growing up, I was, I just... That era was dying. The era of like, yo, call me and let's talk all night. That era was kind of dying out. So that's why it may be like that for you. Are you older? Yeah, I'm 26. Yeah, like that era was like kind of like for your generation. Cause my brother was like a phone mind. Every time I come out, he's on the phone. I'm like, yeah. what's wrong with this idiot, dog? I'm like, yo, just text. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So me, like, I think the phone thing kind of <laughs> died out for me. Honestly, you're probably right with that point because when I used to be on the phone all the time, there was no iPhones, there mm -hmm. was no touch screen. It was just like Nokia, green screen, yeah. and, and black. Yeah. black. Ain't nobody trying to text on that because I you know, like, like when the phone, phone has like three letters on one button. Mm. No, that's <laughs> way too long. So wait, how do I know if a girl likes me? Yeah, um, to know a girl likes you, she will take interest. Like, like I'm saying, she'll call or maybe not in this day. She'll text you a lot. She'll just ask you random stuff. She'll try and get to know you, ask you things about you, like about your family, about what you like to do. It's not necessarily that she cares because most of the time we don't care. We just want to let you know that we care enough to ask. So let me ask you something. Um, I had this I had this argument with a girl and um, you guys, please leave your comments below. Cause I'm really interested in, in reading some, uh, some comments. Um, I had an argument with this girl and basically she was mad that every time we had something serious to talk about or something, if something came up, I wanted to text instead of call. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to tell her like, yo, like during the day, like I'm honestly like, I'm always on the go, da, da, da. like I'd rather just text and I can't properly display my feelings when it's on the phone or if it's in person. Cause like I get shy and I get nervous. I forget what I want to say, but text, like I know what to say. I get time to think about my words and this is that. Um, how do you feel about that? How do you feel if like you had a serious talk with your husband and he said, yo, just, just text me. I'll be pissed off. Okay, that's your husband. Right, right, that's your husband. That's a different level. Okay, okay, uh, like, 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 say before I'll you. I'll still guys be kind of pissed off because it's like, don't. I want to feel your emotion through your voice. Or well, I would prefer to speak to people in person, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But if you let you know that that emotion is not going to probably come out because he's nervous, or because then I'll still be pissed. Problem. I'll feel offended <laughs> that you don't feel comfortable with me, and that means you really don't care that much to even get on that level. No, you don't care. You don't care, but I'm scared. nervous. I'm scared. I can't get out what I probably. Okay, want. like my dad. Like you love your dad, but like, if he's like this big scary, like I don't know. It's not scary, but it's with, like, I think, he's intimidating. So it's like I can't get everything out to my dad. Probably not me personally, but like yeah. some people, I can't get everything out to my dad properly. So I'd rather text him. I hear what you're saying, but when I your dad, like, imagine your dad like confronting you about school, right? like you're scared and shit on the spot. You like, uh, I don't know. What That's to say. different, though. Parents are different. I really feel like it's different. I feel like with Some people can make us nervous. women, we want you to feel comfortable with us. We want you to trust us and be able to talk to us. So we will get pissed off if you don't feel that way, because it's like I'm not even that important to you, and you're not even trying to take it there with me. Like we want you to understand that we understand. 
Mm. But I think maybe our approach might be a little bit aggressive and might just intimidate you more. So, yeah, so you're you, you, scary. So, <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, so you're telling me, yeah, you already scared me now. I want to get up. <laughs> but would you agree to give us like a time limit? Because like, you can't expect us to be like come for you right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. what's that time limit to say, like, okay, I don't give a shit. By this time, you better like be talking in person, no more text. I say within the first year, maybe like nine months. <laughs> Give me ten. Give me twelve. Ten I'll holler at you. Twelve months. Hey Tootsie. Um, how do you feel about girls paying when a guy or a girl goes out to eat? I feel like it should be maybe once in a while, not all the time, but how do you feel? Okay, I like this question actually. How do I feel about girls paying? I am all against Oh no, I ain't finished. <laughs> I'm against having gender roles of guys oh, have to pay. Righty. I pay for myself all the time. Freaking went out yesterday. I pay for myself. I pay for myself all the time because I like to know that I don't need nobody. Like my husband pays for me all the time. I pay for myself all the time. I pay for me and my husband all the time. Like it's never a thing of oh who's paying? Why are you paying? It's like. If I want to pay, I'm going to pay. If I suggest we go somewhere, I'm going to pay because I suggested it. If you suggest we're going to go somewhere, you're going to pay because you suggested it. Kind of thing. It's just, it's whatever. I really don't care. I, I feel the same way. Um, um, I, I, I just don't like, it's a, it's a major turn off when I go somewhere with a girl. And even if it's as small as like ice cream or something like that, and then like it comes time to pay and she looks down at her phone or her ice cream or whatever, and she starts munching a little bit. And it's like, she's clearly giving it off to me. Her. It's like when you're expecting it, that's when it's just like a turn off. I mean, I'll pay it and I'll just say, all right, for sure. Like, Even if you fake it shit. and like pretend to reach for your pocket, that's cool. That. Do that. Yeah, do that. Honestly, that's it's nothing. embarrassing for me. It's embarrassing to sit there and feel like, oh, he's about to pay. No, I don't want you to think that I think you're going to pay. Exactly, exactly. Mm. I would rather, like, the way I do it is like, okay, say I went to a restaurant with someone and they ordered loads and loads of stuff and I ordered like one thing. Are you wild enough? I would then? like the common courtesy I would expect my husband to just be like, okay, I bought most of the stuff so I'm just gonna pay for everything. Same with me. If I go I order like a starter main course dessert and all he had was like a glass of water, I'll just pay for everything. Mm -hmm. Like or even if it's just hey, you wanna go get Chinese today? Cool. Because I said it, I'll just pay. Mm -hmm. But I really don't think it should I do be. rock, paper, scissors. What about first dates? First dates I pay for myself. I do feel like that's on my thing. I pay for myself. If he wants to pay then I would usually say no, 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 but then I'll let him pay. But I'll say no, no. you have to say the no, if no, no. If you say no, I'll let you do it. Yeah, you say, <laughs> say three no's. Say that. Okay, I'll say the no, 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 but I always come with money. You always okay. have to come with money. Okay. Don't leave your house without money, please. That's so, it's just trampy to me. Like, don't, you have to, listen, you have to know that. You're trampy. So, <laughs> so I thought we were going out for dinner. I, I just brought enough money for food. No, and then we, we went shopping to... after and I couldn't buy anything. Aww. I'm a fucking tramp. Just be prepared at all times because you don't want someone looking at you like raw. Like you really came out of thinking what? I was just. What is wrong me? Like wow. Like, oh. Oh, heard yourself. <laughs> bro, bro, we're all. <laughs> Do you guys like respect girls more if they're just like fully together and they just have it like? I, it's such a turn on. I, I love it. Like when they, they they got their shit together and I know they can pay for me. And I, I'm a type of guy. I like gifts. Every everybody likes gifts. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And especially like I had this conversation with this girl and we we're talking about like Valentine's Day and I'm like, yo, like I feel like it's it's a day to show your love, not just for the guy. Just for girls, right? Yeah, we like had this conversation. Thing. I feel like it's for couples, and it's like, yo, know, like, like when my mom and dad had Valentine's Day, it's like my my mom was still getting my dad gifts, even if it's like a massage, because yeah. they just express and say, yo, I love you, I'm so uh, appreciative of you, and this is that. It's not just for the guy to say, hey, because no one knows, what the, no one knows what steak day is or steak and sex, whatever the fuck that shit is after. Mm -hmm. Everyone's saying, oh, that's for the guys. No, Valentine's Day is for both. Yes, but yeah, I agree. I, I, yeah. I want gifts and shit. So if my girl can't buy me gifts, I'm gonna be like, yo, this is boring. Cheese. I'm gonna be cheese. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there was this guy I met at summer school and although it was only a week, there was a lot of flirting and touching and all of that. So I kind of got the impression that maybe he liked me and that we could maybe see where it goes. Well, as the week went on, he started talking to this other girl and completely forgot about me. Does that happen within three, four days? In school? Nastiness. It just looks like it was a week. Yeah, it was oh. only a week. And he completely forgot about me. Although it wasn't that deep because it was only a week, I still kind of feel upset and although I've forgotten about mm -hmm. him, now I really just want to know whether he did like me or was just tripping and looking for something where nothing existed. Uh, a lot of times when we just, I'm just going to just throw the fishing rod out there. Um, a lot of times me, I'm just speaking personal. If, if I'm talking to a girl and I'm trying to see where it's at, like 
there is a chance that I may kiss her or I may do something. I may spank her or whatever the hell it is. And I find out I don't like her. And I go left. You know what I mean? This is me. <laughs> And if I go left and I leave her and I stop talking to her, that doesn't mean I'm a bad guy and I just wanted to spank her. I just wanted to kiss her. It just means like like whatever I thought we could have, when I actually kiss her, I'm like, yo, I, I'm not feeling anything here. You know what I mean? And maybe this guy was doing, maybe he could have been a horrible person or he could have been trying to look for something and say, yo, I don't really like this. I kind of like this girl more and stop talking to you. And a lot of times, like, I feel like girls are just going to look at the guy as like, oh, he's an asshole, this and that. But there's some girls where I did things with and I'm like, yo, like, honestly, I'm not feeling it. I don't think I'm gonna continue. You got test the waters. You don't know. Yeah, you got test waters. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to go any deeper. So I'm gonna stop right here. Um, I'm stop um, on Wednesday. Sorry, I'm stop on Wednesday. Thursday, I'm on to something new. Yeah, you know. So you guys feel no way about kissing someone you just met? No, I wouldn't kiss her. I wouldn't meet her. But like, that's I, weird. I spank someone I just met. I spank her though. Okay. I'm that's what I'm <laughs> joking. That's what we do in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, honestly, like, I, I, I like, I don't know. No, I can't. I feel like. Anyone. Yeah, I can't kiss anyone. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I kiss someone and I'm not feeling it, like, kiss is such a big thing in a relationship. If I'm, if my girlfriend is someone that can't kiss, I'm gonna be pissed. And I'm like, yo, okay, I, I, let me just kiss your neck then, because you fucking suck. Like, kissing. Okay, so if you met someone and within one week she let you just touch her up, you didn't nah. have sex, nah. you just touched her up, that could never be your girlfriend. Don't sleep. Don't yeah, sleep. I can. Because, yo, some people, like, I believe in connections. I believe in real, like, genuine bonds and, and shit like that. You know what I mean? And when you feel like a very strong connection, and like, I mean, like, I would never like pull my meat up like the first week with a girl like that. Right. You know what I mean? But like, if it's a real strong connection, and everything's happening. I may say like, "Yo, do you think this is happening too fast?" Yeah. But then just, I may just torpedo my whip. You know what I mean? And just just <laughs> do my thing. I may torpedo my meat up. Some people are I'm busy, man. Bad, like, yeah, some, people are, some people don't like Texans. I know bad texters, but like, it, it seems like they don't like me, and then I, I see them in person. It's like, it's all lovely. It's just the fact yeah. that they're a bad texter, and that's it. Legit, there's this girl that I'm like, yo, she sucks at texting. I'm like, yo, like, if you don't want to text me, you don't have to. She's like, I just don't like texting. And when I'm in person, like, we're all good and shit. So, like, person is just not like texting. And you guys have to remember, people have lives. Like, their phone, they're not on their phone. I know people that are on their phone 24 7. I'm like, yo, get off. Like, remember we're at dinner and everyone's just on their mm -hmm, phone? Mm -hmm. Yo, get off your fucking phone. Like, it's so annoying when they're like that 24-7. But some people aren't like that. Some people put down their phone and whatnot. Some people are driving, like, just loud. And yeah, people expect that as soon as they get a text, they're going to get it. Yeah, it's not MSN. I expect that. Oh, sure. I feel like we're in a day where everyone has their phone all the time. Like, yeah, but we're right doing there. Stuff, from, like, Do you move, return calls like, then? If I'm, like, building a couch, I'm supposed to be. I guess Too so. much. But do you, re back. do you return calls? Yeah, I text them. Text so what do you want? <laughs> so you called? I so said, why'd you call me? Okay, cool. Babi Isla wants to know, what would you do if your boyfriend was constantly talking to other girls while he was talking to you? Well, he wouldn't be my boyfriend. Point blank. Talking period. in what? In what? Like, I'm why are you about. talking to other girls? If you're Speaking my, or like... No. Speaking about what? The way I see it is, if you was not friends with Sarah and Jenny and all these people before you got with me, Sarah and Jenny do not need to be in the picture because if Sarah and Jenny come into the picture, they're not only your friend, but they're my friend too. So when they're texting you, they're texting me. Like there's no, oh, I'm talking to other people, but I have a girlfriend. No. A husband thing or like a boyfriend? She said boyfriend. So I'm, 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 listen, boyfriend, listen, girlfriend. On a girlfriend wife. thing, I don't care. Yeah, like if, if my girl like meets a new friend, like I, I feel like there's, I don't want to control my girl so much where it's like she feels like she needs to hide shit from me. Because when I find out that she's hiding shit from me, it's going to be that much deeper and when it can just be a simple friendship. Now, I'm a, I'm, I'm, that, that doesn't mean I'm going to make her be friends with everyone. I'm going to say like, yo, like I may check in here and there. But if I see someone getting out of line and she's like kind of playing along with it, then I'm, then I'm going to do something with that situation. But if she's letting someone like talk to her like a certain way and she's okay with it, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be cool with that. You know what I mean? I'm going to say, yo, drop that nigga. And if she doesn't drop it, and she can drop, you know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. So no, if she was out of line too, yeah. you ain't dropping it from then? You're just saying, oh, yeah, I'm done with her. I'm done with her. Yeah. Oh, she's okay. like way out of line there. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like that's a, that's a big problem. A lot. It was a big problem in a lot of my relationships. Like, I wasn't like bringing in any girls and whatever. And I wasn't communicating. And you know, with YouTube, it's like you work and you edit from home and shit like that. You really don't do anything. You barely go out. 
Um, and and I, I, I really just lived in my basement, just, just working, working, working. I didn't know anyone. I wasn't talking you to anyone. New. You got socialized. And I feel like it, it brought me to a point in my life where I was just like so like alone when she was like, when her phone was dead and like, no one's talking to me, no one's texting me. Like I can tweet about some shit, but then like I have no one to like have a personal connection with. And I feel like that's interesting. And that's that, uh, not interesting, sorry. That's um important. And um, and- I think you limit yourself if you, t- if you tell yourself that I cannot talk to any, like any girls. Yeah. Mm. You can you can miss it out on some great people. And then may not have um, bad intentions on your yeah. You just have to like like every guy has to know like that certain limit and, and then the big question comes out like what is flirting it and how much is like what if you guys are flirting with each other? Like it can't be any of that because you have to stay loyal, and you have to be like you have to respect your girl for letting her for you. letting you go that far to have girlfriends. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people may not be cool with that. And it, it takes a lot because I don't want I don't want to see my girl texting other guys. Like who who wants to see that? No one does. But like you have to Throw that trust out there, and, and if something happens, then you got to learn from it. But as long as you know your boundaries, I don't think I don't think there's any harm. So you don't feel that you need to like be cool with these guys she's talking to. Under respect, because that's how I feel. Like boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, wife, husband. I feel like it's my duty to introduce every guy I'm talking to to who I'm with. Yeah. Just out of that respect. Yeah. Mm. And if that isn't the case, then I really I don't agree with it. Like if. There's someone he's talking to and I've never met her. I've never heard her name. I've never spoken to her. I have a problem with it. I agree with that. Every girl that I was talking to. So it was just a texting. You have to, you have to like, say. I have to know who face she time? is. Have to face no, no, no. I have to know who she is. You need to tell me about her. I need to know like the history. How'd you meet? Like I need to know she exists. Like I need to know that she's cool with me. She respects that we are together. I need to, I don't know. Even if I freaking, we follow each other on Instagram or something. Just some sort of acknowledgement that I'm here as I'm not going to like you and you're not talking mm-hmm. to her. I think I, I I can agree with that. Like I feel like she has to know who I am. Mm-hmm. Um, wait, he has to know who I am. There we go. Confuse me. He has to know who I am. But there's gonna be certain things that I'm not cool with. Like if she says, "Hey, like um, he asked me if I can go to the club with him," I'm be like, "No, no, no. fuck you, going to club for it. You gone too far." What's the best way to win your guy back after a breakup? There is no winning him back. Now you got you got come you got to come you got to okay you need to take some time off you need to evolve become a better person become a brand new person who your um your wife is gonna like and then come back and rock out and he's gonna see you and say wow she changed um it's been some time I think I'm ready to yeah. get back into this relationship and um what if the reason was because she cheated on you oh you can't there's no coming back no, no I I think I think definitely not but uh, there is no winning okay let me fix my word there is no winning your guy back right after your breakup. Um, yeah, I don't think so. It's too soon. You guys, you, you gotta take some time off and become a better person to fix whatever um, broke the relationship. Mm-hmm. That it, that's very important. When you guys break up, yo, if you're if it's a breakup in space, um, and they say, hey, I think we need to go on a little break, yo, give that person time. Because if you just like if you um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? If you just uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Smother them. Will you smother? Yeah. If you smother them when they ask you for some time away and just say like, yo, just give me some time and think this is that. It's not gonna work. If you break up, don't smother them. Just say, hey, this is not, say what you feel in that last text, that last conversation, whatever, and then let them do their thing. And if they come back, they come back. If you cheated, I think me personally, if a girl cheated on me, I need like like five years minimum <laughs> for you to come back and you gotta show me that you improved. But then I'm still, it's still gonna be so I like, I'll be like looking at your every move. And it's just like, I don't wanna be living like that, you know? Yeah. What about you, what about you? Well, it depends on what I've done. If I've done something really bad, for the guy to break up with me, I probably just wouldn't even bother because I don't want to embarrass myself. What if he's the one though? Well, okay. Well, Ahmed broke up with me once mm. and it was to focus on his career. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Why? That's real. That's real. That's real. not I'm real. Gonna focus. Don't, yo, focus. I stopped talking to girls because I'm like, I really just want to focus on YouTube. And right when you now. got that focus, I was, I, was, I was, now I'm in London. And they did the same, you want to focus. Okay, like, well, he wanted to focus on his career. Yeah. And what I done was, I threw a fit probably for like the first three days then I kind of accepted it for another three days and then probably the day after that I kind of just called him on a calm kind of you know what I understand but I'm gonna let you know when you're with me I'll make you better kind of thing like I had to just I had to just let him know that you will do much better with me by your side than you will without me and I let him make his own decision and he came back and now we're married so I'm just saying if the person you're with isn't making you better, then there's really no point of even fighting for a relationship or even mm. continuing, even entertaining it. But... You have to make each other better people. So if you're on some, I need to focus on my career, mm. why can't you focus with me? You should be more motivated, more successful, like with who you're with. 
depends. It depends because I'm going to say, like, you could be the right person for him, at, but not at that time. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. you guys are right for each other right now. Mm -hmm. But maybe at that time when you say, I need to focus, maybe he felt like you weren't right for him at that time and you need to grow as a person too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and truly, that wasn't the case because you guys are happily married now. But a lot of people, like, like, if I say, hey, I need to focus, it's maybe because you're too distracted for me. And when I say, hey, I need to do a video, you throw a little fit and you, you're not allowing me to work. When yeah. I say, hey, I'm editing right now, I can't talk. And you're still texting me or whatever, saying like this and that and like mad at me that I'm working. Right now, you're not the person for me because maybe you, you can make me happy. You can like make me achieve my goals. But right now, you're stopping me from doing that. But not really. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. If they are saying, oh, why do you have to film a video? Why do you have mm. to do this? Then they clearly ain't helping you grow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So they could, that... they, sh they need that time to grow to understand like that yeah. you had. Like you had the three yeah, yeah, days yeah. and yours is quick. Like it could be like, it can be a year. It could take like five years for someone to really understand that. But you, yours is quick. You're like, yo, like, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, but, like, yeah. I'll help make you better type of thing. Yeah, yeah. So cool. I think it's totally. What if she wasn't throwing a fit of over videos? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If she but wasn't I, in that way, I still see that like it take like relationships take up time. Like you want to talk to this girl, and like sometimes you get distracted, and you mm. instead of doing the video you're supposed to do, you talk for five hours and then like push your yeah. shit back one day. And it just shit like that just adds up. And it, I don't know, it just takes a lot of time. But don't you think that's more your fault on your part for Yeah, it is. Sometimes yourself? you just gotta, you gotta take responsibility and say, yo, okay, I'm gonna see you guys. So instead like, of breaking up with someone, take some responsibility and be like, cool, I need to do this. I'm not gonna speak to you for five hours. Instead yeah. of breaking up and saying, hey, you just need to like go away for a couple months and then you can come back when we get back together. Like, that's not right. Sorry. <laughs> I thought this video was gonna be fun. <laughs> she just screaming at you. She was screaming at us the whole time. screaming at me the whole time since I got here. Your milk! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she brought me biscuits and I'm like, can I have Oreos? What? <laughs> You're buying my bed! Try something you haven't tried before, innit? Okay. Hey, so I've basically been with my boyfriend for five years. Leave him. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and we have two kids together. Recently, he's been going through a lot after losing both of his parents in a car accident. Mm. I've been there for him. All through it, all through it all. But I've had to go back to work and I had to go back to work to put food in the kid's mouth as he's currently not working but i found out that while i was at work he was sleeping with his ex i've confronted him about it and he's apologized and told me that he was lonely and i wasn't there and he needed comfort he's also been drinking a lot and i can't help but feel betrayed but i also don't want to leave him what do you think what Ooh. would you do and what do the boys think about how he's acting this all is right. really tough but i feel like wow. when something as traumatic as, as your, your yeah. both your parents happens i feel like you're gonna like you're bound to make stupid choices. You're bound to make choices that you wouldn't normally make. And I feel like I mean, it's not really an excuse. This but is the thing, though. Like, it's, it's, you can't you can't put like, on, like like I, I don't want I don't want to come off as an asshole. I really don't like because losing someone is, is always like traumatic. It's it's, it's always going to be like hard to deal with. But you can't blame your decisions on what happened in life. Life life happens. Like if you killed someone, it's going to be like, oh, his parents died. Right. Don't, I don't do worry. Thing. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. It's the same thing. Like, him cheating will always be that level of that. This is cheating. Cheating is cheating. It's exactly. bad. No matter what happened. Like, you know what I mean? Like, drinking is one thing. That's something that, like, it's okay. This helps me feel good, whatever. But that's your girl. And if your girl's there for you and she's helping you get through it, then you should have gone to her. Because, like, I feel like if something bad happened to me and I was doing that, I feel like me personally, that's just an excuse to say, hey, like, oh, I can cover it up with, I'm going through yes. it all. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't believe in like, oh, I cheated because this happened or this happened. You know what I mean, I'd hate to lose my parents. I'd hate for that to happen. But like, it's just, I, I feel like that's just a poor excuse to, to, to blame that on. You know like what, what if someone like loses both their parents and then starts doing drugs and they're not like, they don't do that's that. something more to turn to than, 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 than cheating. I feel. Well, I mean, he's drinking too. So drinking, I say, I, I, I can see what we're drinking. When you get away, you know, you make weird choices. I don't know. I agree with everything you said. I really feel like he's using this as an excuse. And I also feel like he's, in a way, kind of blackmailing you to stay with him. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. you'll be scared to leave him because he is drinking. You don't want him to do anything dumb. He's the father of your children. I, I really think it's wrong. I don't, I don't know what, personally, I would do in that situation. But... I think it's worth trying to fix, though. I think it's definitely worth trying to fix, yeah. but but he's wrong. and, and he, he, it's, it's still wrong. I'm it's, still wrong. Yeah. It's, just, it's just bad that he's putting you in that predicament to make that decision to say, hey, like, this is a case... I cheated on you. My parents died. What's up? I'm drinking now. I'm sad. I feel alone. And it's, it's so much pressure on you because on a normal day, if he cheated on you, like you're probably most likely going to be out. But then 
it makes it so much harder because like if I got cheated on and I had kids, I'd probably want to save for the sake of my kids. Mm -hmm. But now there's so many more levels because his parents are died. He's going through this. He's drinking. He's sad. And you have the kids like it's a lot on your shoulders. So I think you should go take a free weekend trip to the Bahamas and get a <laughs> massage and think about it. If you've been speaking to a guy for a long time and feel like it's not going anywhere, do you think it's best to be straight up or hope that they get the hint eventually? I'm a straight up kind of person. Straight up after a while. Do you respect I mean, I the straight up kind of approach? Yeah, yeah, I mean, straight. I like being confronted, so it's annoying, but like I do respect it. Yeah. What do you I mean, mean like, after my eyes, straight up. Like if you're just talking to a guy, a girl for a while, and you you're just cool, you think you're. What's friends. a while though? Yeah, like, but what what's a while and what's speaking? Because um, I I've been talking to a lot of girls for a long time and nothing happened. I'm just talking. Okay, about. okay, let's say maybe a month. Just a month. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's so short. Okay, but she just says to you, she's like, you know what? I've been talking to you for a month. I'm going to let you know, like, eventually I'm, like, I'm trying to be with you. So, I'm like, gonna what's say, up? I'm Is gonna it say going leave. somewhere? I'm going to say leave. Cause really? You, you just changed everything and now I feel forced. <laughs> a month? I feel like it changed the game. But she doesn't, say, she doesn't say, I want to be with you now. I'm just saying, I'm looking for it to go in that yeah, direction. Yeah, you're scaring so me So, if now. it's not going that's in that scary. direction, that's then. scaring me. I don't know what direction. It's only a month. We've been here, we've been in London for like a week and the week's almost done. Like, do you know, time goes yeah. by fast. Like, literally for me to talk to a girl and say, hey, something can go on here. And like, I still don't, I like, I don't know if I have feelings for her. It's like three months. Three, three months. months. So to answer her question, you'll say it's best to just hope they get the hint eventually. Yeah, just, I don't know how long it's been though. If it's been a year, then it's like, okay, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah like a up, year, but... a year is fixed up. But like, it's just like, if. Okay, if you're talking to someone for a year and it's like straight, like every day, like you're talking to them, then okay. But if it's like, oh, we're on and off and we talk like two days in August and then we talked again in October, like that's not a full year. Um, yeah. And and a lot of things like like they scare you and they say certain shit to like that hints at like a relationship that that scares a guy and and then if, if a guy doesn't like you and you're dropping hints like that, it's gonna like just just make him wander off because. A lot of guys may not want a relationship, but then when they find themselves in the position where it's just like, hey, I kind of like this girl, all right, fuck it, we're doing it then. You know what I mean? You probably ease into it instead. Like maybe, I don't know, go on more dates together. Go on more yeah. Just, don't just spend more time together. But give it time. How long should she wait until she's straight up? After after nine months, you say, yo, this has gone too far now. <laughs> Honestly, I, I mean, <laughs> I've been three you. months of like solid talking to seeing each other is like uh, enough time. Three, four months. Okay. Why do guys start loving you when you finally like someone else? Like, what goes through their heads? An old wise man once said, "You don't know what you have until it's gone." <laughs> that's the easiest. And that's thing. pretty. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's... I so promise once you. You realize that, yo, oh man, she's gone. She was such a great person. I see how happy this guy is with her, and like, it's like. It's not even that. Sometimes you just, there's a jealousy factor too. You just have to have something like taken out of your life to appreciate it more sometimes, and that's that's really it. Like you, it, it it goes down to to your freaking like shoes that you used to wear all the time, and then you lose them. You're like, yo, man, those shoes are really ill. Like I didn't treat them the same. Like your car or whatever. Like it, it it really matters to anything. Like your phone. Like you ever be on like um when you're going on a, on a flight, and then you have to turn your phone on airplane mode. And you're like, yo, what am I saying right now? What am I doing? And it's it's because your phone's gone. You can't have that anymore. It's just like, yo, wow, this is crazy. Like. Has that ever happened to you and then you've gotten the girl back? Yeah. And did you stay with the girl for a long time? Okay, so you didn't just drop them again and get bored? No. Okay, cool. Last question. My boy best friend said he's in love with me. How do I let him down easy without losing <laughs> our relationship? It's no, never no, 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 no. no matter what you say, there's no there's no way to ease them down. Because no matter how you put it, even if you say it's as nice as like possible, he's going to know she's just being nice. Honestly? But then, like, through all that nice, nice... No matter how well you word it, through all those words, it still no. Jermaine, know, Jermaine had had this. Uh, no, me and Jermaine had this talk, oh. and uh, and we <laughs> and it, it was the same question. Was, 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 no, 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 it was someone of the same question on how you let someone down, and he said simply to climb the Himalaya mountains and say, "Hey, I don't love you anymore." Oh, <laughs> you got slipping in somewhere while you're doing some. Hey, no, uh, take him to do some cool shit and just slip it in. And he'll but your be like, best friends, though, because your best friends, I feel like it should be easy. He's gonna be hurt, but your best friends, I don't think that's gonna ruin your relationship. No, it's done. Because to you him, think? it might. Okay, so to, she she might see best friend, but he might see oh my potential girlfriend. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, that's sad, you know what I'm yo. Yo, what he's saying? Text me. And I will talk to you. So if you was best friends with a girl and she let you down, you would literally just not want to be her friend no more. Yeah, yeah like, I get mean, awkward. I, I get, like mad awkward. It's just like a breakup. Know? You need space to say like, yo, let me gather my feelings, make sure I'm I'm good. Yeah, you know I mean, but then like that time may be too long, and then when you try and go back, it's like a little bit awkward. Like 
I've, I've lost a couple best friends, like girl best friends, that because like shit happened like that. And then when I tried talking back to them, it was just weird. And then I see they still like me and I can't do, I can't like say certain shit. Like I joke around all the time. Like you, you heard my jokes. Like I, I say dumb shit where it's just like, whether it be like sexual, and it's not sexual towards you, but it's just a sexual joke in general. Mm -hmm. And they may be like, oh, let's talk about bombs. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just not gonna work. Right. Okay, it, what it didn't if she work for me. didn't um, tell you no, but she just went and got a new boyfriend? Because as far as she's concerned, you're just best friends. Oh, yeah, but you still not want to talk to her? No, yeah, I'm That's done. Worse. I'm throwing on my wow. skates. I'm throwing on my skis. And just... But then what she comes to you, like, what's what's wrong? Why, why aren't we talking? You don't like me. So basically, what they're saying is you're gonna lose your boy best friend if you tell him that you're not into him that way. Uh, it depends on the guy. Like, I don't know if you'll lose him, but for sure, there's no next way to it. I have a next question. It's my last question. Does it okay. make sense? It makes that one didn't make that made sense. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So listen, um, how would you go about like if if a girl like I, I talk to a girl, right? I talk to whatever, many girls, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm like totally nice to them and I'm just like responding to them, do you mistake that for leading them on? We had this talk like on our group chat and, and it was just like a big like it was one of those. Like that's the response we got with everyone. We had like, Shannon Boudram and she said we're leading um, we're leaving girls on by being nice and responding and talking to them and learning about them and learning about what they do. Kind of. Why? It's Ow. only leading someone on when the girl's interested in you, honestly. Like, you're honestly not leading people on, but that's just how we're gonna take They're it reading because it wrong. we know we like you. So, who's in the wrong? Feed business then. Who's in the wrong? Feed them business. I'm saying it's them. No. How? You're in the wrong because you should have got the hint that they like you. How? I can't see it. Why though? There's, I swear to God. Then, we said that we. Should, that's what Shannon said. But then, um, it's like it'll be awkward if like, I, I come on and say, "Hey, listen, I don't like you," and it was nothing like that. Yeah, it'd that be would so be weird, weird if I listen, I don't like you. He's like, "Oh, nigga, I didn't like you either, bitch." And it's like, oh, well, maybe. that's why I think you should throw hints out, <clears throat> like, and say things like about other girls, maybe, just to see how they'd react, or hey, Rebecca, maybe say, got "Hey." A fatty, huh? Yeah. <laughs> just being, oh, yeah, just random that. stuff like that. Throw hints out that you have interest in other girls, and then maybe they'll get the hint. And if they don't give a shit, then it's just like, okay, cool, we're just friends then. Too much blues clues business, man. <laughs> I feel like you just gotta be straight up. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, 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 what's wrong with you, man? Listen, let me talk to you. You've done this path three times. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's, there's, it's not leading them on. I feel like the girl should be able to see clear signs, like. If I'm like directly flirting with you and saying, yo, like this is not like me telling you, oh, you look good today or you look cute today or whatever. Or, I saw your last pose. It was cute. Or when you going to throw not, that back. Huh? Or when you going to throw that back. No, me telling her she looks good is not flirting. That's me to like giving you a, a compliment. Dad, I'd say I'd, I'd stay away from that. Why? I'm, it's, I'm, I'm telling her she looks yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Same way if your man gets ready to be like, yo, that's that's a fresh look. That's a compliment. You want to make people feel good. Like, well, how's that's that flirting? No. Nah, Why are you flirting. biting me though? Sit down. This dog is the cutest dog ever. So hyper. But I, I don't know, man. That, that, in my opinion, is leading people on. Saying they look good and stuff. Like, there's no with. need. There's no need. Like I'd stay away from that if I wasn't trying to leave it on. Right. If you wasn't trying to lead them on, don't do that. Well, that concludes today's girl talk. Yo, what's going on? Let's go to the You watching Tootsie Time. <laughs> Guys, my ass, my problem. My favorite intro. I hope you guys like this and you got a nice different perspective because I know me and Martika are quite harsh all the time. This was a little bit more laid back. Um, thanks for coming on the channel, guys. Thank you for having us. I want to move here now. Oh wait, hold on. What 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 time were we supposed to be here? It's Six fourteen. Oh. What time? Oh, it looks like it's Tootsie time. <laughs> that was good. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I was not trying to plug your channel. Oh my bad. I was trying to say. I don't know what it was. I'm doing a promo. Last night. Susie said, hey, be at my house for 10. I said, for yeah. 10? I said, I can't do that, but I'll wake up for 10. Let's be realistic. Yeah. It's 6 in the morning already. I'll wake up for 10. She said, okay, don't be late. Yeah. Okay, well, oh, to be up. fair, he uh, texted me one time. Good morning, Susie. Send. Are you up? Send. Question mark, question mark, question no, mark. No, there were no question mark. I'm being misleading. It was okay. one. It was one I said, text. I said one text. I said, yo, you up? No response. Woke up at 12. I said, I checked messages. She wasn't up. She wakes up at one, guys. Super late, and now we can't go to the museum. Oh, don't stop it on me. Well, oh, that's, what, it's that's what happens. That's what happens when you mislead your friends. Sorry, guys. We're taking your dog now. Well, anyway, make sure to check the description box for the link to their channels. They've got a few. I'll leave all of them below. And I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.
Yeah, she's got that good stuff That's Tootsie Tam, oh yeah Comment and like the fit Subscribe if you own her Yeah, she's got that good stuff That's Tootsie Tam, oh yeah Tootsie Tam, oh yeah Tootsie Tootsie Tam, oh yeah